Uganda recorded its highest number of COVID-19 positive cases on the 28th of October, peaking at 434. Also in this week, there were reports that some schools in Wakiso district registered positive cases. Dr. Diana Atwine says the infections are expected to surge. It means that this time around we, we had more contacts who were in contact with the people who are sick because when you look at our statistics that we really we, we got many contacts and, and that could have been a responsible. HDU is full. Last time I was talking to them they had over 50 people in HDU alone and uh, in ICU they had I think eight. She says Schools should follow the guidelines as set by the ministry as they continue to provide face masks. However, preliminary results from a study by Makerere University School of Public Health show that there is general lack of information to learners and most of the masks provided did not fit the children. It was a glaring gap. Uh, the children do not know inf uh, much about COVID-19. They are playing as usual. They are very um, close to one another. So they are not observing any of that any of the guidelines. The masks which we are provided are an adult size, so even if a child tries to wear it, it's going to fall. At the time of distribution, they did not take into consideration to triangulate the, the number, for example, the children, the um, adults, how many per household, so that they give accordingly. They would just give, give, give um, en masse. But, but what we had um, encouraged the district, that if in the process of distributing, if the person picking the mask is able to provide that information of how, ch how many children, then they pick from the smaller consignment. Uganda now has 12,410 cumulative number of COVID-19 cases, the second highest in the region after Kenya that has 53,000 797 cases since their first reported cases. 110 people have succumbed to the infection here. Walter Mwesije, NTV.